So one of the cool things about the use context hook is that we can use it as many times as we want inside a component to consume as many different contexts as we want. For example, inside navbar over here, we're consuming two different contexts. We have the auth one and the theme one. So what I'm going to do now is turn this into a functional component because currently this is a class based component. Uh, I'm going to remove these and we're going to consume these contexts via the use context hook. So to do that, let me first of all come up here and import use context and then we need to turn this into a functional component. So what I'm going to do in fact is just duplicate this. I'm going to keep this here for reference, but then come down here and create a functional component. Again, we're going to call this navbar and then inside we want to return some JSX. So we'll do that first of all. I'm just going to grab all of this stuff in here. This is the actual template that we want to output. So let me cut that and paste it over here and uh, neaten this up a little bit. Okay. So the next thing I'd like to do is now consume the context inside this functional component. So we know we use the use context hook to do that. Let's come down here and do it. I'm going to say use context and we first of all want the theme context and remember we want to destructure some properties from this and the things we want are these things right here so I can just copy this and paste it over here and now we're saying const is light theme light and dark is equal to use context and we want to get those from the theme context so all that is going to do is destructure these properties from the context object that this returns to us. So we're grabbing those now and we can just do exactly the same thing for the other context, the auth context. So I'm going to grab these because that's what we want from the auth context and set it equal to use context again. And this is absolutely fine. We can use this as many times as we want inside a component to consume different contexts. And this time we want the auth context, oops, in capitals, auth context like so and that's all really there is to it now we're consuming these two contexts now what we also want to do is this thing right here where we check which theme we're actually going to be using so let me paste this down here like so and that is pretty much it we don't need to change anything here because all we're doing is still outputting information from this theme which we determined right here we're getting all the information we need from these contexts. So we can now, if we wanted to, delete this. And by the way, I think this looks much nicer than all of this where we have these different consumer tags. This starts to look a little confusing after a while when you have several different contexts. So we can get rid of all that now. And we can get rid of component up here. We don't need that anymore because we now have a functional component. And one of these exports, let's get rid of that. And that is pretty much it. So let me save this and preview in the browser. Hopefully nothing should change. Yep, everything still works. Perfect. And that's right, we shouldn't see any change because we still have all the same functionality. We were literally just converting that class component into a functional component that now uses the use context hook instead to consume the context. So this is a really nice way to work with context in a component. Now, just for good measure, I'm going to go to this final component over here because this is still a class based component. And what I'd like to do is turn this into a functional component as well. So let me do SFC tab and we're going to call this theme toggle again. And inside here, we want to return the same template. So let me just grab this and paste it over here. And then we want to consume the context now. So let's import use context and down here we can say const toggle theme that's the function we want from this context so let's place it inside the color braces we're doing destructuring and then we'll say is equal to use context and we want the theme context so there we go now we have toggle theme and it's being passed into this click event handler right here so that is pretty much all we need to do right here. So again, this looks a lot neater than this thing up here. And I've just noticed I've misspelled theme right here. So now we can delete this one. 
we don't need that anymore. We can delete one of these and we can also get rid of the component import. We don't need that. Save it and fingers crossed, everything should still work the same way. So toggle theme, voila, works exactly the same way. So now we've seen how we can use this hook, use context inside functional components. And I think that makes these components a bit easier to read, a bit leaner and neater. I prefer using it this way. And like I said, you can use this as many times as you want in a single component to consume as many different contexts as you want as well.